So the course is about uh, clinical disorders, so autism, dyslexia, and then the neuropsychologists, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson. We teach them research skills, so how to become good researchers, how to publish papers, how to write grants. And we also give them a foundation of clinical skills if they so wish, because we have placement opportunities and therefore students get to work with people who have suffered a traumatic brain injury. You do the theoretical bit in uni and then you go at the end of the week to do your placement so you kind of get to use what you've learnt rather than just having the theoretical basis. We work closely with um, Buddy, which is um, the BU Dementia Institute and uh, we also work with other universities looking at a, a range of conditions. We've got collaborations with the NHS, um, with older people with um, autism. Um, we've done things like looking at classroom behaviour, for example, with children, copying information off of a board and, and their sort of behaviour in a classroom when they have special needs. One of our studies looked at signage in airports and as a function of doing some mobile eye tracking in the airport then um, the signs were changed and hopefully people find their way around a little bit better. We're really lucky with the equipment we have here at BU. We have a virtual reality lab, we have uh, an EG lab, we have eye trackers and these are all freely available for the students. One of the main reasons why I came back to do my MSc is that I really enjoyed working with my supervisor in my undergraduate so came back to continue working with her. We're really lucky in the guest lecturers that we have. We have educational psychologists and clinical psychologists and these people actually give lectures and therefore they actually help students to figure out the career path that they would take if they wanted to pursue either of these routes. We had one doctor who taught us about epilepsy and we also had a doctor come in to talk about uh, dementia.